Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and I'm here to demonstrate herbed roast chicken with potatoes. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I know you will. This recipe comes from my husband who frequently makes this for us. He has a number of little things that elevate this from being a basic roast chicken to showcasing the best of each ingredient. Let's start by peeling and cutting potatoes. Because the potatoes will roast with the chicken the entire time, we're cutting large chunks so they don't overcook and dry out. Now we'll remove some of the fat from the chicken, just the obvious bits. Here's one of the special elements to how Francois roasts his chicken. He slices garlic in large chunks, pulls up the skin, cuts a little slit in the meat, and hides these little chunks of garlic. Now heat olive oil in an oven safe pan. We love to use our cast iron pan for this and cook the potatoes to get a crispy skin. I tried not sauteing potatoes in a pan with a separate batch of potatoes and at the end of the roast, their skin was like leather. So this is an integral part of getting the potatoes to come out right. And once there's some browning on the edges after just a couple of minutes, we'll add the chicken. So scoot the potatoes over so the chicken can touch the pan. Pour more olive oil over the chicken, season with salt and pepper, and generously sprinkle dried oregano and thyme. I'm using herbs from our garden that we dried ourselves, and they are absolutely divine. And you can do this with any fresh herb. Just hang it in a drafty area, not directly in the sunlight for two to three weeks. And when the leaves are dry and crumbly to the touch, just pull them off the stems and store in a jar. Now this chicken recipe is good with store-bought dried herbs, but it is unbelievable with freshly dried herbs. And we'll bake at 425 degrees. And after 20 minutes, we'll remove the pan from the oven, remove the chicken, stir the potatoes, and return the chicken to the pan. Bake for 25 more minutes until the juices of the chicken run clear when you cut into it. Flip the chicken skin side up, and for an extra crisp, we'll now broil on low for a few minutes just until you see a pretty golden crisp. This is also the place to sprinkle more herbs too. And you're ready to serve. The chicken skin is crunchy, the hidden garlic is soft, the potatoes are crisp, but soft and buttery enough to only need a fork. Now as it cools, you'll need some fresh bread to soak up the juice at the bottom of that pan. It's another yummy secret of this dish. All right, everyone, you can get the full recipe at cookingcompaniontv.com. Click on my photo to subscribe to Cooking Companion TV and click on the recommended video for more recipe demonstrations just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and thanks for watching.